The use of small balls from the Brain Fitness Program has statistically significant research backing it. This research was funded by the Alzheimer's Association. The intervention requires focus, concentration, and hand-eye coordination. It can be done one-on-one -on -one or in a group. All you need are the balls and a hard surface. What is interesting is the sensory movement of the balls has been found to have a calming effect on those with agitation and anxiety, and an alerting effect for those with depression or apathy. Welcome everyone. We're gonna do an exercise today that will help you relax, okay? Josephine, if you wanna take these large balls, okay, and everyone else grab the two from the center, we'll just start with one, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our index finger on it, and then over to your next one, and then roll it up that finger, back down, and up the next one. See how that works? Mm -hmm. And then the next one, and from the pinky, we'll go all the way back to that index finger that we originally started with. All right, and once we've done one hand, we'll do up the ante and do both hands at once. Same motion again, up and down from finger to finger at your own pace. My hands get all. <laughs> they do come closer. So Crossed together. Yeah. All right, now once you've done it with your eyes open, let's increase the difficulty and try it with your eyes closed. Most people say that it actually tends to be a little easier with your eyes closed, perhaps since you know, you're eliminating one of your senses, it is heightening all your others. So let's try it with our eyes closed now, okay? And once you're done with that, we'll take one of the balls Place it in between both palms, and we're just gonna roll it over the surface of the hand. Go in between your fingers, over your knuckles, and you kind of massage your palms a little bit. Yeah. I find the palm feels really good when you kind of push it's it into your palm. Massage. Mm hmm. Hand <laughs> massage, yeah. All right, now the next exercise. Oh, got it. We're gonna place it right on top of the back of your hand and then sandwich it with the other. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hand over hand, kind of like in a pedaling motion almost. And again, you can go at your own pace over any surface of the hand that's comfortable to you. And that gives you the most relief. We're looking to eliminate stress here. And again, no exact path, but it is causing the mind to do a little bit more thinking on how to keep that ball in place. And you can do this numerous times a day at any point that you're feeling, you know, overwhelmed, stressed out. I mean, you can actually do this when you're sitting down at a desk or something. Yeah, like this, you know? at any time. If you need to get your mind off anything, just relax. Nice. All you need is two little bouncy balls and a little bit of time in a quiet That's room. Good. You might have noticed that one of the residents was using large balls. I use large balls in case they put it in their mouth. It could be a choking hazard. The movements don't matter so much as long as the resident is constantly moving the ball. And we have a motto that there is no wrong way to do something.